Hello? Hello, is everybody there? Hello everyone, welcome to my stream. I decided that I wanted to do some dream sweet streams and I'm going to be doing some of these streams kind of more regularly now with Nintendo and Animal Crossing especially. So um, I'm going to be doing these streams I guess to fill the time between videos because uh, I was like oh I can upload daily uh, but um, I feel like streaming would be better and I probably will do some Royal High streams and other Roblox streams as well maybe. Um, but I'm going to be doing a scavenger hunt today, if you couldn't tell by the title of the stream. going to be streaming this scavenger hunt and it's basically a dream suite address and they have all of these different items that we have to search for and we're just going to go look for them. I have the little info thing on the screen for you to take a look at it and we're going to tick them off once we find them. I have a cute little uh, tick mark thing that I can put over the image to show when I have found a certain item. So how is everybody doing now that that little bit of information is out of the way? How's everyone today? Um, I have a bit of a story to tell because I hurt my back and I have to like sit upright constantly. Basically if you don't follow me on Twitter I kind of found a spider in my room and it ran behind my bookcase and I was like this is something I'm gonna have to deal with eventually but I will leave it for now because I don't want to pull out my bookshelves and so I didn't. I left it and there was just a spider lurking behind my bookshelves in my room and so and I think about two or three days passed and uh, the spider, I was in bed and I was looking up at the ceiling and I see the spider run across the ceiling right in front of me and I just like felt so disgusting and gross and horrible and I was just looking at this thing above me and I'm like ah um I don't know how to get you off the ceiling and so I had to get out of bed and I was like balancing and trying to like knock it off the ceiling or get it under a cup and it like fell off the ceiling onto my bed and ran into a paper bag that I was like trying to catch the spider on so it went into this bag and I like like I closed the top of the bag and I ran outside and I threw it in the bin <laughs> but what happened is during all of that um, I pulled my back and it's been hurting now for like three or four days and I'm in pain. So I'm like sitting upright and still trying to work. So uh, at least the spider's out of my room and I don't have to deal with that anymore. But uh, consequently, I have a bad back now. <laughs> but um, we're going to do this dream suite. I haven't actually done any dream suites before and all you have to do is use this bed and get some sleep. Yeah, I want to sleep. And I'm going to have to pull up the dream code uh in a second a spider crawled into my shirt one day oh that's rough spiders are not spiders are not ugly they're cute they they're pretty ugly but i mean some people really like spiders for some some strange reason okay here is luna question mark question mark question mark but it's luna if I am not mistaken, you are from Lenora. Yes, you must be the famous Limey. Good guess. How do you know that one? Mm, few dream as pleasantly as those from Lenora. Forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. My name is Luna. Think of me as a guide to the Library of Dreams. Uh, the Library of Dreams? What do you mean? A dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear, then chooses to upload to the internet. My role is to ferry travellers between dreams, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you have actually set foot on their island. Sounds fascinating, does it not? To visit another's dream, merely say to me, I want to dream. This need not be a one-way matter either. If you wish, I can collect your dream of Lenora as well. Then I will spirit your dream through channels of fibre optics to live in the... Oh, I can't do this forever. Okay, okay. Put simply, we share the dream of Lenora with others. Tell me I'd like to share a dream. Blah, 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 blah. I want to dream. 
of course, of course. But there are a few things I must clarify further before I guide you to your dream. Dreams, like many things. Oh, why does she keep going on? I just want to go on this scavenger hunt. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. So before dreaming, be sure you have your desired dream address at the ready. Yep, I have that ready, Miss Luna. I have that at the ready. Um, it's actually on the screen right now, the dream address. Oh, I just clicked on the stream and accidentally uh, put the the sound on. So anyway, this, the dream address is actually on your screen. It's on the scavenger hunt card that's in the, you know, the corner there. And it says DA and then it has that number code and you can enter this in in your own game to check out this dream address. Okay, okay, Luna. She goes on forever. She doesn't stop talking, does she? Connecting to the internet. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do, 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 What is the dream address for your desired dream? It is... Okay, so let's copy it from the screen right now. 90... Ooh, one, eight, six, three, nine, nine, five, one, no, it's not. Five, nine, one, three. There we go. Thank you. One moment to ask thy browser library of dreams. <sighs> this is taking forever. For an island called Benihana. Yep. As you can see on your screen, that's the name of the island. Yes, it is. I love watching your live stream, by the way. I was at the live stream when you tried to get the tomato villager. Thank you for watching my streams. I really appreciate that. And I still need to get ketchup the duck. I still haven't um, been provided with the ketchup duck yet. So that might be something I do in the future, but I need to get a villager uh, kicked out my town first. <laughs> Ooh, here we are. Okay, so I need to keep this up on my screen so I know what I'm doing. And we're looking for all of these different items, as you can see. I will take them off. Now open your eyes. You're now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named Benihana. When you wish to awaken from this dream, you need only lie down in this bed. I will take care of the rest. Also, should you have any questions or need advice about dreams? Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, Luna. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's like a little cottage court island. Okay, okay. Fauna, you don't look familiar. You must be visiting for somewhere else. Don't you think this island is like a dream? I hope you enjoy your time here. <laughs> oh, it's a little. Oh, they got like a band area. You can't hear this, but do 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 do. They have like a glowing spot in the river. I don't know how they manage that, but. Okay. Ooh, this is so pretty though. Oh, here's a person. Karen. Oh, it's so magical. Okay. So we're looking for two paper dragons, four names, a fortune telling set, a matryoshka, a fruit basket, coffee grinder, striped surfboard, gold bag ring, and a snow globe. So they're the things we are looking for. And I'm going to keep an eye out. So we're just going to have to kind of wander about. And if you think I've missed something, tell me in the chat so I can go back and find it. Oh, I want to get this little ukulele. It's such a cute little item. We have one over here too. And a little portable library thing. Okay, let's walk over this way. This island is gorgeous. Beautiful cottage core kind of themed island. Oh, this is like how I have my setup, isn't it? I have like a little platform up with the with the thing here. That's so awesome. Oh, oh, look, it's like a little princess area. You got all of like the Disney princesses, not all of them, but some. You have Tiana and Anna. And I think that's Mulan and Rapunzel, Snow White, Belle, Pocahontas and uh, Merida as well. The teacups. 
Oh, so cute. Do 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 do. No little uh, candy, cotton candy, candy floss machine. Wait. Wait, this is the matryoshka. This is what we needed to find. Okay, we found one. Let me um put a little tick. A little uh, tick, a tick for finding that item. Okay. <laughs> so where is my green check mark? There it is. It's gonna huge. Oh, that's massive. That is huge. It doesn't need to be that big. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, matryoshka. Oh, that will do. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Close enough. So there we go. We have one item already. And please tell me if I miss anything in the chat because I know I'm going to like walk past stuff. I know it. I get distracted. Okay. Let's keep going. I guess we can look on the beaches for things as well. Um, I feel like, you know, for the f something like a, a, a fruit basket, I feel like I'm just going to walk straight past that. Oh, look. Oh, hello. Lolly! <laughs> I'm just gonna be distracted by all the cute villagers they have. Okay. What else are we looking for? Whew, so many things, so many things. This item is lovely. Ooh, this area is called the Grove. Ooh. Any of the items in this area? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, oh! We have a like little winding path area here. Cute. Oh, and a chessboard. Can I like jump over here? Oh, I might get stuck though. There's the golf bag. Oh, we found the golf bag. Okay, that's two items. Okay, let me add the golf bag to. The check mark to the golf bag item. Okay. Adding. And it's huge again. Ooh, 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 ooh. I hope these are actually appearing on screen. I think they are. Okay. Golf bag. That will do. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can actually see that on screen. It just appears huge and then it uh, goes to the place that I want it to go to. <laughs> okay, does this... Oh, no. This is a surfboard. That This isn't the striped surfboard, so it's not the right one. Maybe I'm just going in circles here. Okay, I'm back to the start. Let's um, go to this side. Because we haven't been this way yet. Ooh. Ooh, an orchard. <gasps> Oh, this is so pretty, actually. It's all fenced off and things. And there's the fruit basket. Wow, we found the fruit basket. Wow, this is going so well. <laughs> okay, let's add, let's add uh, another green check mark. I'll answer some questions in the chat. I always like to answer some questions uh, throughout the streams, just uh, to... Break it up a little bit. Okay, where is the... Where did we find the fruit basket? There we go. Oh no, I got rid of the... Whoops. Okay, let me add that back. Oh no, this is a disaster. <laughs> I accidentally got rid of it. No. Okay, quickly, quickly. What one did we find? The, the matryoshka? They're like right next to each other. Oh, how does that look? That'll do. I think you get the. I think you get the point. <laughs> Lamy, what villagers do you have? Your videos are the best. Ooh, I have Marshall. I have Meringue, Tangy, Maple, Lily, Tad, uh, Shari, Tia, Cheddar. Am I missing anybody? I don't know. But that's a few of them. If I've missed some, I probably have though. Okay, let's keep looking for things. Oh, there's a striped surfboard. 
Wow, this is going to end very quickly, isn't it? <laughs> the gnome, rip gnome. Oh, we found the gnome as well. Where was that? Was that where I just was? The gnome by... Where's the gnome? Where is the gnome? Tell me where the gnome is. I can't see it. Um, there's the bar, there's a surfboard, and... Oh, I found the tiger! Okay, that's three. Where's the gnome? Everyone was just like, rip gnome, and then I don't see it again. Where is it? <laughs> I found the tiger and the surfboard, but no gnome. Where is the gnome? Tell me where the gnome is. No, 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 gnome. Gnome, no, gnome, gnome. Is it up here? The red house. I'm sure you passed it. We'll go back and take a look, but we need to tick off. Striped surfboard, which is down here. Um, there we go. It's hidden behind the surfboard. And we found the little paper tiger as well. We found one paper tiger, so we need to find another before we can tick that off. But let's get another little tick mark on the screen. There we go. Going to be seeing lots of big green ticks today. So we got striped surfboard. There we go. Perfect. Oops, I accidentally opened something. Okay. We have one little tiger that was down here. It's on... Uh, it's on here and let's look up and see if we haven't missed anything on the top layers we haven't and i'll go back that way because people are saying there's a gnome or something next to the golf bag okay was that up here oops i don't want to trample flowers oh here he is missed the gnome but that's one of the gnomes we need to find an orange a green and a white gnome as well so we have one gnome We've got to find the rest of the gnomes let's continue up and take a look oh i like these tulips they look kind of green in this lighting oh my god it's the best man it's the lime man this is lime man by the way um, he's called Lime Man and I want him on my island to be honest because he's based off of limes and I think that's incredible and I think that's amazing and look how awesome he is. Lime Man. Whoa, who are you? How many chin-ups can you do? Sorry, you don't have to answer that. I'm working on not being threatened by anyone else's fitness. The kind of worst thing is he's a drug villager and that personality type is kind of really annoying. Um, so... That's kind of the downside to him, but he's a, he's a lime. He's he's lime man, you know. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's four gnomes missed. I'm screaming. I saw one gnome, but I haven't seen any other gnomes. There's this. Um, there's one gnome here, a red gnome. But I haven't seen any other gnomes. But we can't take it off because we haven't got the rest of them. Let's continue upwards. Ooh, this is actually really pretty. Oh my gosh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. Oh, you didn't paint... Wait, you didn't paint Van Gogh's Starry Night acting like you painted this masterpiece. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was the one who painted Starry Night. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, credit me. I don't even know what uh, museum it's displayed in, to be honest. In real life, not in Animal Crossing. Um, Anything else? Are we missing anything else? A lot of things, actually. I'm just trying to cover my area and see um, if I miss other items. Okay, 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 okay. We're going this way now. It's a, uh, ooh, look at the little secret beach. Ooh, this is cozy. I like what you've done with the place. Some weirds, just like chill vibe. 
Awesome, love that. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, a little viewing area. Wow. Oh, Statue of Liberty. What's that island called? I'm so I'm sure somebody knows. <laughs> okay, I think we can jump over this way. What do we have over here? We have DIY and a little dog house. Solar panels. Oh, it's got anchor. Anka's a great designed villager, to be honest with you. I really like her design. It's like a Egyptian design, isn't it? All golden and a little Egyptian dress and stuff. Um, ancient Egypt, I think, is what it's based on. I'm kind of. Am I stuck up here? No, there's a ramp. Oh, here we go. Um. Okay, we have a well. I'm. Am I? Do I have to go in houses to find some of these things as well? Do you think? Um. Maybe, probably. I'm probably missing like a lot of areas. Oh, look at the duck. Oh, the ducks, look. Oh, I love them. What's over this way? I think I've like gone over this area so many times now. Do some jumpity jumps, some hoppity hops. Oh, I found a gnome. Here's another gnome. Blue gnome. Hi. Okay, that's two gnomes. I missed the paper tiger. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at this. Where was the tiger? I saw one that was near the beginning. Um, but I've no... If there's another one. <laughs> yeah, I pretend that the coconuts on my island, because they're green... Um, I pretend that they're limes because they kind of do look like limes, don't you think? So I'm just going to have like my island be like all summery so I can say I've got lime trees and it's all these palm trees with limes growing on them. Where was the paper tiger? Please somebody tell me because wait, there's a third lime. Okay, the not, not the lime, the gnome, it's the, the lime gnome, <laughs> the green gnome. They're very close together. So we only need the white gnome now. Wow, look at this flower field. This is really pretty. This is like every flower in the game, I think. That's sweet. Oh, and there's the fortune telling set. Okay, so we can tick that one off. It was near the... A narrow gold rose and a waterfall. Okay, we have to go back and find that. So, what did we find? We found two more gnomes and the fortune telling set. We're getting really close to, the, to finishing. This is actually really fun. I'm enjoying this. Ah, uh, green tick number. I don't even know how many we've done. I'm just kind of like rambling. Here we go. Ah, uh, that'll do. Oh, that's way off. No, that won't do. That is way off. Okay. That is worse. That, that's better but it's not the best but it will do okay that's sweet there we have the fortune telling set i feel like all of these items are outside then it'd be kind of unfair if they were all inside okay there's the green gnome we already found her um and we need the white gnome still I should check all the beaches and stuff probably because there might be like hidden parts. We'll have to run around. Book's not on the list, is it? it we need to find a ring, a snow globe, and a paper dry, a paper, one more paper tiger, one more gnome, and a coffee grinder. Ooh, that was a lot. Let's continue to go across this way. They have some really cool bugs and things. Uh, that are spawning. I like this little area. It seems very cosy. Let's continue. There's the one paper tiger we already found. So don't mention that. I've already found that one. Okay. Was there anything else here? A coffee grinder maybe? Nope. Wait, what is that thing? Oh, I think it's a dish. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue. 
what's in this area? I think we checked, didn't we? We that's a scale, but we did get the fruit basket already. Okay, and what's up this way? Did we check up here? It's like a hammock. Oh, I have no tools. <laughs> I was like, I can vault across the river. Um, you don't have any tools if you know you can't. <laughs> okay. Um, we still need to find the white gnome. Oh, look at the tail flag. It's the, the house from up. That's so cool. We have the red gnome. We need the white hat gnome. Let's read some stuff in chat. Okay. The other paper tiger is on the other side of the lime gnome. Oh, okay. So we have to go back and uh, see that. I found, oh, it's people telling, okay. I was like about to read something else. Like it's people telling me how they found my channel and that's really sweet. So thank you for watching. There is nothing up here. Nobody's seen the ring or anything yet, have they? That's probably going to be very well hidden because it's a tiny little box. Oh! There's the tiger! We found the tiger. Okay, so we found both of them now. Love that. Um, You probably can hear the sounds of the waterfall because I have my headphones in. Add image and we're going to add the next green check mark for the tigers. I'm really enjoying this. This is so fun to like just chill and like, by the way, that's my chair. Um, I have to sit on this leather chair and I hate leather chairs. And you know why I hate leather chairs? They squeak and they make you sweat and they're horrible. Uh, and they're the loudest things in the world. But it's so cushiony and so good for my back. And if you didn't join the stream uh, straight away, whoops, I didn't mean to move that. If you didn't join the stream right from the start then you oh that is terrible you don't know that I hurt my back trying to capture a spider um and I have to like sit in this like really cushioned back chair now just uh while it uh heals um and it's been hurting for like four days so that's fun <laughs> I'm playing on no I'm playing I so the way you stream and film and like game console videos is that you have to play it of course on the console but you can buy a like a uh, capture card but it's like an external capture card and you can uh, the one I have is the uh what is it called game I was probably just came, game capture hd that's the streaming um it's the elgato something the elgato came, capture card it's like the hd 60s or something like that and you have to like connect that up and you have to buy um that with real world money and then buy well you get to download a streaming platform for free um oh i found the ring okay i'll pause here while we while we uh look at this ring that we found so you have to connect it to your computer basically to record it and to stream it because you can't directly stream from the Switch. So you have to do it through a computer. And so I'm playing on the Switch, but I have my computer open for it to stream and to, um... is it is the stream cutting off or something? Um, is it cutting off? Is that why everyone's saying F? F for Limey's back. What does this mean? Did the stream cut off? I can't see it. it. It seems to be live for me, so I don't know what happened. Is anybody in the chat? Hello? F for Limey's back. Pray for Limey. Oh, my back! Ow! <laughs> oh, whoosh! That went straight over my head. <laughs> I thought the stream went down and I was panicking. <laughs> I was like just talking about my back problems. Wow, you, I, I give you all permission to laugh at me. That was embarrassing. Let me uh, pull a little tick mark up for the ring that we just found. <laughs> wow, face palm. Am I right? Oh my God. <sighs> yeah, rip. F my back, to be honest. Rip. Um, F for my back. Terrible. 
Uh, at least the spider is living its best life now outside somewhere. Uh, so um, he's doing well for himself. You know, I easily could have just like uh, squashed it, but I didn't because um, I didn't want to, you know, do that to the thing, even though I don't like them. But, you know, um, the consequences were now I have an injured back. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, what ha what do we have left to find? A snow globe, a coffee grinder, uh, one gnome. That's all we have left to find. <laughs> I know, I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes. Um, just uh, no idea what's going on. Okay, are there areas that we still haven't looked in? Snow globe, I mean, where would that even be located? I haven't seen a snowy area yet. I don't think items are going to be in houses because I don't think that's fair. And we've seen every other item outside so far. So I'm going to be um, looking at a lot of the same places uh, a lot. There's the blue gnome. We already have the blue gnome. Let's see what is over this way. We've already checked down here, but we haven't. Have we checked down that part? Maybe. I don't know. Um uh i don't know i don't know what i'm doing we're gonna keep looking though we'll go down and keep looking so we found the green gnome already and what do we have over here cool little um wood chime thing houses and there's lolly and this is a cute little cozy area which is nice you can like Get a little fortune cookie from the cart and then have a little seat or you can have like a snack or a drink and then take a seat. How comfy is that? Is a spider alive? I hope it is. I mean, I, it, it climbed into the bag, a paper bag. It like fell on it and then it climbed into it and I kind of like grabbed the bag and and threw it in the bin. But it can, you know, climb out of out of the bin. So it's probably, it's probably doing fine. Um... I don't know the lifespan of spiders, but um, uh, it's I, I'm I let's be optimistic and say that is it's okay. <laughs> There's a lot of white flowers, so sometimes I thought it was a white gnome. Yeah, so did I. But this one is well hidden. Have we checked all the way up this side yet? We're gonna run up here and see. I feel like looking over the side, we would have seen it anyway. No, just some uh, wind turbines. Here's Anka. She's cool. I like her vibes. <sighs> this is kind of like relaxing and stressful at the same time. Because it's like I'm trying to find all of these items. But then I'm like running in circles. Oh no. Let's check back up in this area. We might have missed something. Up we go. I love that they've made this look like a castle. That's so cool. And this little manhole cover with like a uh, design on there. That's so beautiful. I love that. Ladder. Do we need a ladder to get to certain places? We can pick that up and, and see. So here's the piano. Let's uh, bang out a tune. Let's uh, get on there. Thank you. Thank you. I know that was an amazing, beautiful song. Um, 10 out of 10 entertainment. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where we've been, where we haven't been. And I'm just kind of like aimlessly wandering around trying to find these last items. And I don't even know what kind of area of a snow globe is going to be in. Let's jump over this way. Have we been up here? Don't know. I have no idea. This is where the little duck is. Oh, oh, so cute. Okay, we have been here because this is the wishing well. 
and then I think we've been we've been everywhere I think we've been everywhere it's just we're missing the items because we haven't spotted them I'm on the island so I can check if you miss something oh okay uh, thanks for backing me up <laughs> This was the area with the ring in it. Yep. See, we've got a little um, area here with the the things. We can climb down into these areas because we've got the ladder now. So we're just uh, gonna double check. But I don't think that the person would put them in places that we have to like climb to. Because this island seems very accessible. gonna continue see I need to like look very carefully in case I miss these things see we I haven't really like checked thoroughly I've just sort of like scanned the place and seen where things are very obviously placed why didn't I wish in the wishing well we will we will go do that when we pass it again which I'm sure we will because I'm kind of aimlessly wandering around <laughs> There was, there, oh, someone's put a spider story in the chat, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read that to you. Um, we'll find a nice little sitting place. Oh, this swing is cute. Let's sit here. Okay, let's get the camera out. Um, what's, what's a, what's a little uh, emotion we can do? Okay, let me read the story. This story is by Choco Chip. There was once a spider named Mumble. He lived a happy life. But one day Mumble wanted to have some fun. So she went into someone's house and bit a person, but the person didn't kill the spider. Uh, is that the end of the story? Oh wait, no, we got part two. Okay, this is a live reading. Um, uh, okay. Part two by Choco Chip. The person was injured and threw the spider outside. Legend says that the spider is still biting people today. Wow. Um, maybe that was the spider that came into my house. <laughs> maybe um, I miss. I dodged a bullet or I dodged a spider bite because I it didn't bite me, but I did get it out my house. Um, but. Yeah, Mumble the Spider. Maybe that's his name. <laughs> okay, thank you for that story, Choco Chip. Um, let's exit out of camera mode. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's carry on. Hi, Lyman. I'm back again. What was going on on this part? It's just kind of pirate themed furniture. I know. Thank you, Choco Chip, for the story. Everybody thank Choco Chip in the, sh in the chat. Maybe we have to go in houses. I I feel like we don't though. There's the golf club. There's the red gnome. What was this way? Was anything over this way? I don't know. <laughs> when you just don't know what you're doing and you just kind of randomly walk around an island. Has anyone else spotted anything? Am I, am I like going crazy or is the, these items not here? Because we've like checked everywhere. Like lots of times. My eyes just terrible. Or oh, my eyes just terrible. So anything over here? We've, this is where we've been already. Uh, maybe we have to go in houses. Should we check some houses? Maybe. Let me know in the chat. Should we check some houses? Because it just seems strange that we have like three items missing. Let's speak to the person. The master. Leave me be. Okay. Can you remember where some houses were? Like actual person's houses? Oh, there's a shark, but I can't catch it. That's That's really sad. That's an F moment right there. Somebody did say they were on this island too, so they're checking around for the stuff, but I think they might be in, in people's houses. We've got the green gnome. 
Um, we had the red gnome and we have the orange gnome. This is a person's house. Let's check in here. And if it isn't in here, we're going to have a great time touring this person's house anyway. So that's fun. Oh, wait, there's the coffee grinder. I was right. We had to go to somebody's house to find the items. We've been like randomly walking around for so long. We just had to go in people's houses. I'm like, they wouldn't do that. They would put them out in the open where it's easy to find them. <laughs> F. Okay. I know this is a very long dream. It's because it's a scavenger hunt and we're like trying to, trying to find... Um, trying to find trying to find the the things i think i've hit my limit on how many items i can i can show on screen um cuz i can't add any more images yeah okay so just pretend i have all of these ticked off except for i'm just going to get rid of them except for the one of the gnomes and a snow globe but the rest of the things I have so maybe I'll just put one big tick over everything here and then we'll leave the snow globe be okay I'm sorry if you can hear background noise someone's just started cutting their grass I think so or it's a plane passing over that will do we've uh, done all of those top ones we just have to find the snow globe and one more gnome Wow, um, that's twice I've embarrassed myself in this video. So good for me. <laughs> We're going to check out the rest of the house in case we miss a snow globe or a white gnome. So that's the two things we need. Snow globe and gnome that has a white head or it's like a, a kind of bluey, bluey hue. I know my eyes are terrible. Maybe this is the dream I should have picked to do a scavenger hunt, but it has been fun to find the items nonetheless. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This is like a, a bathroom. Oh, I like the vibes of this. Got a dehumidifier or a humidifier? No, it's the humidifier because it's like spurting out stuff. Okay. Let's check the other rooms. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to ask Nightbot to join the channel. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, I know we're like a bit late. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that is... I think Nightbot... Nightbot, are you here? Um, maybe I should try and do a command. Okay, what do I have? I have scavenger hunt. Nightbot, hello? Uh, please don't spam. Uh, just sorry, I need to take a second because I was supposed to put Nightbot in the channel uh, to deal with spam comments. Uh, so I'm just going to have to give you time out uh, for spamming just for a second. Okay, uh, that is dealt with. But Nightbot doesn't seem to be here and I don't know why. But I'm going to redo that and see if he appears. Um, okay, what was I doing? We're going to continue looking around this house. We went in the back room. Let's go to the side room. I know, Nightbot. It, I have so much trouble with Nightbot. He doesn't behave. He doesn't do the things I ask. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with Nightbot. I asked for a, a com... Oh no, I left the house. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let me try again. Scavenger hunt. Or is it... Am I spelling that wrong? Scavenger hunt. I don't know. Oops, never mind. Um, wait, I could try first video. Let's see that one. No, but is here. Okay, I'm just a terrible speller. Um, welcome, Nightbot, to the channel. Everyone, a round of applause for Nightbot. He's appeared. 
That took long enough. Okay, we need to actually go back in this house because I didn't mean to leave. <laughs> well, technical difficulties with it, slimy. Okay, we needed to go downstairs and then we'll check upstairs as well. Oh, okay. What are we looking for? A snow globe. Oh, a little library. Fun. But there's nothing here that we need. And we need a white gnome as well. Yeah, I have to put Nightbot in because I can't, I don't have uh, moderators online at the moment. Um, so I need somebody to be checking for just like basic spam and not very nice comments to uh, filter them out for me. Uh, but I just noticed that I forgot to add Nightbot to my stream, which is a big face palm on my behalf. Um, this is uh, like a gym, which is cool, and they've got like this little bubble head. <laughs> Get some workout, punch some steam. <laughs> well, that's the most uh, unlike, that's the, the, the least like me thing I've ever said. Nightbot is here, yes. Nightbot is finally in the chat, in the building. Let me take a sip of this drink. There we go. Okay, we need to find another house. Um, maybe that's the task in itself, to find another house. Boop. There's Anchor again. There's a starry night, and I don't think there was any houses over this way, just villager houses. But we need like the main people's houses to find these last things. Oh, Lyman's joined us on mainland instead of the beach. Uh, nice for you to join us. There was uh, nothing over this way. I think, was there a house like down here? That's a villager house. Oh, that's a villager house. Wait, I can just look at the map. Duh. Uh, there's a map. Oh, it's like right here. Okay, that's the only how other house they have on this island. We're very close to it. It's up here. And you have like the little watermelon garden, which is so cute. Look. This I love this little area. I think it's very sweet. Ah <sighs> Is your back okay? It's healing. It's not as bad as it was. But um, you know, I'm trying not to do anything too strenuous. To break it. There's snow globe. Okay, the only thing we have to find now is the white gnome. So let's look around the rest of the house. This house is very uh, cozy. I don't have a King Tut's mask. I actually don't know how you get it. I think you might have to get a DIY recipe or something. So I don't know. I've seen people wearing it and they're like falling over everywhere. But I remember that from past Animal Crossing games. People would uh, either have that, but there was a there was a cat fortune teller called Katrina, and you could go to her and she would give you a fortune. You could get good fortunes or bad fortunes. <gasps> There's the gnome. Wait, is that the right gnome? Did we find the white gnome already, or is this a yellow gnome that we needed? So have we finished? I think that's the final gnome. Must be. I don't think they place extra gnomes. So yeah, Katrina would give you good fortunes or bad fortunes and they would like either like give you extra bells from selling things or like make you fall over uh, all the time and stuff like that and they were pretty cool. I need not mail tickets for what the king took. Is it a recipe from, from the store? I'm gonna look around the rest of this house and um, probably end the stream soon because it's been quite we've streamed for nearly an hour I think or an hour let's take a look uh streamed 50 minutes ago so yeah almost an hour okay oh this is so sweet look at this cute little kitchen <gasps> oh park orchard garden this is so cozy I love this Okay, I think we have like one last room to look at. 
Okay, I was reading how I need to get the mask. You have to hit all the rocks. Get a gold nugget. When you pick it up, get the DI recipe will appear. Oh, okay. So I have to just find a golden nugget um, in the wild uh, from farming. Okay. And then I get given it. It's like how if you go fishing for... Um, fishing for trash and then you pick like a certain amount of trash items up and it's like hey i can make something out of this is that what you mean look at this cute little music room big xylophone a saxophone beautiful grand piano there you go uh guitar ding 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 and the guitar and the piano sound exactly the same. I didn't know if you knew this about the instruments. Ding 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 ding. Uh, violin. Do 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 do. Just slightly different uh, in sounds. Do do. Uh, is this a cello or is this a bass? Ooh, oh, that that's embarrassing that I don't know. Just it is it. What is it? What is it? Um. Chibes, do 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 do. There you go. Um, little wood wood chime things. Uh, I don't want to actually move the table when I play that. Okay, we have a DJ table. There you go. And anything else? Um, oh, uh, music. A singing, a singing station, I guess. Let me uh, spin around. Here we go. Here we go. Um. There we go. That's my singing. Um, my character singing. <laughs> it's a cello. Okay, I was right the first time. Um, I'm glad. <laughs> Bases are bigger, aren't they? And they like hit the floor, because uh, this has like a a pointy little thing on the on the bottom of it. If you take, if we zoom in with the camera, let's take a look. It has a little little uh, thing where it, like you know, you see the people playing it and they like spin it round and it's like ooh fancy. Um, and I think the base just sits on the floor and it doesn't move. <laughs> I hoped, yeah, I, I really hoped you like my um my music jam session there. <laughs> oh this is sweet this looks really cozy i like the little cloud rug and stuff there's the the, the house from up which is the town flag i love this lace rug it's one of my favorites this is a cute little room i don't know why you have like a, a wood stove burner up here though um but you know you do you it's so good downstairs Stream's a bit laggy. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, let me know. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, let me know if the stream is being laggy and buffering and things. Let me know. Because um, then we can get a consensus from everybody if it is uh, as bad. If it is bad. So I'm going to head over to the little area and see the, the the patterns the design patterns i love by the way before i get into that look how cute we have like fertilizer and like a little watermelon and they're like planted i love these little gardens i think it's so sweet i might have to make a little watermelon garden for my own island i'm gonna head back to the the town hall which is down here and we're gonna take a look at um, I just noticed, look, the drum kit has the, uh, the house from up on it. I think we can take a look at the patterns and I'm going to show you the custom designs that the person uh, has on here, I think. I think that's probably how it works. Wendell used to do this in New Leaf, but Wendell doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Rip Wendell, the walrus. Okay, so the customs are the Grove. Here you go, if anyone wants that. Um... You know, you can spice up your island with that. And the the house from up, if you want to take the house from up um, as a design, you can pause the stream now and get that one. And let's look at pro designs. I have a few different uh, ones as well. 
Here we go. That one's really cute. And we have this one, which is a little tail coat thing. That's cute. Pause your stream if you want any of these. Cute little dot dress, so simple. This little dot t-shirt. Striped t-shirt. I didn't have that up for long enough, did I? There you go. That was long enough. <laughs> a sailor dress. That's very sweet. And a jean jacket with this striped dress underneath, which is very detailed. That's very nice. And we have the fall dress. Oh, very cottage core. I bet that's very nice vibes to this island. Here you go. And a leopard print robe. Oh, that's spicy. And then we have the stripe hoodie as well with this blue collar and hem on there. So there you go. That's some designs for you. Um, pause your stream if you want to use any of them or you can just uh, head to uh, this island yourself and check it out, which you should do. If you have the game, head to this island and check this scavenger hunt out for yourself and you can find all of these items and stuff and tick them off like I did um, to a certain extent uh, because I ran out, I, I ran into a limit with how many images I could pull up the screen and I didn't know there was a limit, but you know, uh, we improvise with these situations. But I think we are uh, nearing the end. Anyone want to um, ask me some questions before we go? I'll answer a couple of questions. Um, let's take a cute little seat somewhere and end off. Look at your little bench here. Let's sit here. This looks. Oh wait, actually, can we sit on this mum's cushion? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Um. Ah uh, 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 and there we go. There we go. Oh, that's so cozy. Okay. Any questions before I go? I got time for like a couple of them. Take a sip of my drink. Who inspired you to start your channel? Well, the thing is, I have been on YouTube since like almost the start of YouTube. Um, and that was like 2006. Not this channel, but me as a person, as somebody who's just loved YouTube and who's loved watching YouTube videos. I have been on here since near the start, like 2007 was my first account. <laughs> and I was probably seven years old, which is kind of like, um, it, the, the times were different then, you know, like um, copper still existed. Uh, if I got caught with an account that young, I probably would have had it deleted, but um, it's not. it wasn't so strict back then where they would like delete your account if they found out you were like <laughs> under 13 or anything. Um, but that was my first account that I made. I'd make these like weird films with like pictures and they were like slideshow pictures of like me and Windows Movie Maker. It was great. I had a fun time with that. Um, and, I, and then I made like dance videos, which was like, what on earth? So then I kind of didn't use that channel for a long time. And then I kind of like deleted all the videos from it. And then I started another channel in like 2011, 2012. And this was a gaming channel. And obviously I was like 11, 12 at the time. So they didn't do it well because um, I was like, um, it was like one of my first gaming channels. So it was like, I didn't know what I was doing. And it was not that like, being younger equates to you not being successful because there were plenty of like younger creators on YouTube who are like incredibly famous and doing well for themselves. So that's not it. It's just, you know, uh, me as a 11 year old who's very cringy making Minecraft videos. So that was that. And then I didn't have a channel. Well, I had a channel to like subscribe to people, but I didn't upload as a creator for a long, long time until 2019 last year for this channel and um I was in the Royal High community I was like on the wiki and I wanted to make like video tutorials for the wiki and I was like oh I'll make some for like the egg hunt and I'll make this one little video which was my first video um which was kind of me just uh describing the differences between two of these same skirts um but that's my first video. If you type in exclamation mark first 
video into the chat. Nightbot will uh, pop up a link for you. You can go watch the first video on my channel. But that's not my first ever video on YouTube, just uh, so you're aware. And I'm not going to be giving links out to my old channels because they're cringe as all heck. <laughs> so... Um, just know I have been on YouTube for a long time. It's just this is the first channel that's been any kind of close proximity to being successful for me and people are actually watching. So I appreciate that. Um, I've been waiting a long time for this to happen to me. Um, and, you know, I don't want to toot my own horn. I don't want to be a bit of a narcissist, but like, you know... <laughs> There you go. That's the story of me and my journey on YouTube. Any more questions? Um, can you read part two of Mumble the Spider? Where's Where's part two? Um, can you post that again in the chat? Because I uh, don't want to have to scroll up for 10 years trying to find it. Um, and I'll read part two of Mumble the Spider. <laughs> Are you never going to do... Are you ever going to do an Animal Crossing New Horizons stream where people go to your island? Um, I might, you know, I haven't been working on my island, so it's like kind of a mess in places. So I might just like upload it as a dream suite eventually so people can tour it. How do you come up with original ideas for videos? I write a lot of things that come to mind in a notebook and I kind of see what I like the idea of. And not every video that I write down gets turned into a video. Um, it's just a way to gather like creative ideas, I guess. Because I kind of had like this phase at the start of this year where I like was uploading tea videos a lot or I just like um, talk about concepts a lot. And um, I kind of like, I love watching that kind of stuff. Um, but there's so many YouTubers on this platform that make like tea videos about, on, about stuff that's coming to the game and uh you know concepts and stuff and it's like I'm not saying it's bad content it's great content and I love watching it and I love watching these youtubers especially cyber of course you know that but um I feel like I didn't want to create that kind of content because there's already lots of people doing it so I wanted to do uh my own thing and I kind of like um you know without being narcissistic about myself I kind of feel like I have a kind of way to be creative in a way with um making making my style of content with like the the editing and and like making a little outfit video but then I'll twist it and I like make it kind of role play in a way and things like that so um I like uh that kind of making that kind of thing um but you know do I feel better from my back a lot better than I did two days ago um I was struggling two days ago I was making that uh 50 wedding outfits video I was trying to sit down and record it and it's why it took so long to to actually get it out because I was like trying to sit down with my bad back and it's like this ain't happening I need to lie down <laughs> I need to lie down right now <laughs> Um, but thanks for being concerned. Okay, we have part two of Mumble the Spider coming into chat. So, um, uh, sit tight. I hope you're cosy. Um, we're going to read part two of a story for you now. And this is the story of Mumble the Spider. And the previous part, Mumble the Spider, we knew that Mumble the Spider would go into people's homes and bite them. And legend had it that Mumble the Spider still bites people to this day. So let's begin with part two. The spider was sad because he hit... Let me restart that. <clears throat> part two of Mumble the Spider. The spider was sad because he bit the humans, so he searched for a present in the woods, but instead he found a village full of ladybugs. The ladybugs were mad since he bit the humans, so he ran away and the spiders and ladybugs fought for years. So they gave four leaf clovers to the spiders. DS. The spiders gave the four leaf clovers to the humans. Um, we may get more continuation of that story but very sweet thank you choco chip for part two of mumble the spider we stand that can okay right and i hate to get ranty here and i kind of talked about this on twitter and it kind of blew up a little bit and 
I kind of find it irritating when people ask me for face reveals because I talk about it so often. Um, I'm not going to do a face reveal till I'm comfortable with it. And I know you're probably just asking because you don't know, but it's kind of like um, there's such a, a peer pressure in the Ro Roblox the Royal High community and I've seen it a lot in the Royal High community where people peer pressure each other into doing face reveals and people are like no I'm not pressuring you and then like you go on Twitter and you see like these accounts which are like under 18 and it's like they just make models or they just make art and things like that and it's like they don't owe us anything they don't owe us like personal information about themselves. Like I don't. I mean, I know I'm a YouTuber and an entertainer, and a, and a lot of YouTube accounts, um, you know, show their face, and it's kind of like become this culture where it's like, are you doing your face reveal? Can I see your face? Can I put a face to this account where I can hear your voice? And like, I get that part. You want to like know more about me and things, but at the end of the day, um, it's my personal life, and I kind of don't want to share my face yet. You know what I mean? Um, because the minute I do, everyone's going to know who I am, um, which isn't bad because people don't even know like my real life name. Like I just go by It's Limey online. And it's like, that's not a big, a big, big of a deal if people know what it was. But like if I show my name and I show what my face looks like, immediately people know who I am. They can like find where I live. And it's like, I don't want to have to deal with that. You know, I don't want to have to deal with that. So like maybe if I ever want to create a second channel, which I've thought about and I might do in the future. Um, it's not like a certainty, but I, I, I think about it sometimes. Um, and if I do a second channel, I'd like to post like real life content on there. So I might do that. And that might be the place where I do a face reveal. Of course, but right now, not comfortable. And I'm not comfortable with people asking me, but people are gonna carry on asking me because that's the culture of in the internet and accounts and YouTube because we put this version of ourselves online and people just wanna know what we look like. And why I have such a big problem with it in the Royal High community is because like people, like these accounts are children. They're like under 18 and they shouldn't be like showing off their personal lives to, to strangers on the internet. So, that's why I have such a big problem with it. And I mean, it's one thing to ask me, but then for people to go over to these Twitter accounts and like to some 13 year old and be like, can I see your face? Like what is, don't do that. Please don't do that. It's gross. Don't do it. Um, they don't owe you that kind of information. They just like make cute art pictures and they, you know, make concepts for it high. So um, I get asking for face reveals, but yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable when people ask and I'm not comfortable doing it yet. And I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have to say this again at some point in the future because everyone always asks me. There's always one comment on uh, my video. There's always one um, that always asks every single time I upload. So I deal with this on the regular, but I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> and that's not to be like um, mean to the person who asked me, but you know, uh, I ain't comfortable. So there you go, that's my answer. If it happens, it happens. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is blue. That's a more lighted heart uh, question for you. My, f my favorite color is blue, but you know, I'm called Limey. <laughs> I do like the color lime and I like the color lime um, in combination with like peach. I think that's a very nice combo. Uh, but more so, it's less about the, the color lime and it's more about the fruit of lime. It's a summer beverage. And, um, you know, with my vintage aesthetic and it's kind of summery in its own way and like lime fruit and strawberries and, you know, lemon and refreshing and citrus fruits. You know, my thing is citrus fruits. So um, it's cooler to be called it's lime instead of it's an orange. Ooh, you know. Oh, we're in black and white now. Um, I like pastel blue as well. Baby blue. Lighter blues are best blues. And I very like cerulean blue. But that's a very deep blue. It's very nice. <laughs> Um, any more questions? We're going to end very, very soon. Uh, I'll answer two more questions. Do I like oranges? I do like oranges. Um, probably one of my favourite fruits, but my favourite fruit is a pineapple. Um, just for the taste. <laughs> but 
oh my gosh, what's going on with my voice? I like limes because they're a, a really nice garnish and I like limes. Um, my favourite musical? Oh, this is such a tough question. If you don't know, I'm like the biggest musical stan. Um, I love musicals. And this is my last question, by the way, that I'm going to answer. Ah, okay. I really like Les Mis. I really like Hamilton. I really like uh, Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. I really love Hades Town, And they're probably like my top four. Is that four? Uh, Great Comet, Hamilton, Les Mis, Hades Town. Yeah, that's like my top four. Um, where they're all placed is hard to tell. I, I, I think... As of right now, Hades Town is probably my number one. Maybe then Les Mis and maybe then Great Comet. Um, Great Comet used to be my favourite, but um, uh, it's kind of fell a couple, down a couple of places because I've had such a like um, a thing about Hades Town recently. It's just it's back in my heart. I stan it. It's so good. Please listen to Hades Town. It's like so incredible. And it has like this folk sound, country sound and jazz sound and it's so cute. And it's about, um, it's based on a Greek myth about uh, Orpheus and Eurydice and the Greek gods of Persephone and Hades. So it's amazing. Listen to it. Um, just listen to it. It's great. <laughs> there's a couple of different recordings. There's the Broadway, there's the uh, off-Broadway and there's the like... Um, concept album so there's a couple of versions for you to listen to uh the teddy behind me is scary a little bit um but we're ending the stream now so you don't have to uh, look at that for much longer we're going for an hour and 10 minutes so that's long enough <laughs> thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed me looking at uh, the scavenger hunt and uh, answering a few questions to you and yeah it was great fun i enjoy it i like doing these streams and i probably will do more maybe this week even uh, just while i um work on other projects in the background and it gives some like break up space between uploads anyway um subscribe if you want to we're like at 44.9 thousand subscribers we're gonna hit 45,000 soon which is amazing and i can't wait for that so please subscribe or follow me on Twitter at It's Limey. Um, I post updates and random things on there about Royal High, other games and stuff in life that I want to talk about. And my Roblox group. I know this is an Animal Crossing video, but I have a Roblox group and it's called the Key Lime Pie. Go join that. Uh, we're at like 750 members, which is awesome. So I'm ending it. Thanks for watching. A virtual hug to all of you. So thanks for sending it my way, crybaby. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you uh, when I next upload or my next stream. So bye, everyone. Bye.